Now, I recently read a, an article in an online publication called The Advisory Board, and it talked about a survey that they sent out to about 6,000 epidemiologists around the country. And the responses of these epidemiologists was interesting, and it gives us an opportunity to stop and think about what's happening with this novel coronavirus and how it has affected us. Hi friends and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about when will we go back to normal after the coronavirus outbreak. As the United States starts opening non-essential businesses and easing social distancing measures that were intended to curb the novel coronavirus pandemic, many Americans are wondering on the safety and weighing the risks of simple things like going out for dinner or going to get a haircut. Now, in the past few weeks, as businesses were closed, offices were being shut down, and employees were sent home to work remotely, we've learned how to do business in a very different way. We were socially distant. We were learning how to do Skype meetings and Zoom meetings and team meetings and meeting with people virtually or remotely. We had mastered the skill of social distancing, of maintaining six feet away from each other, of covering our faces with facial coverings and masks to protect us from the coronavirus and to protect us from spreading it to others should we have it. But the question remains, when will we go back to normal after this coronavirus outbreak or after COVID-19? When can we go back and shake hands and hug friends? When can we go back to the movie theaters or to church? or to a music event or a concert. When will we go back to normal? That's the biggest question. So you see, that survey that went out to about 6,000 epidemiologists, even though only about 500 of them responded, that's something that we should listen to, the voice of the epidemiologist. Because you see, epidemiology is the branch of scientific research study that focuses on the cause of diseases, the effect of diseases on the human population. So when this group of professionals speak, it's kind of important to listen to what their message is. So in this survey, there were 20 common activities that were asked of the epidemiologists, including things like, when can we hug again? When can we dine out? When can we go get a haircut? When can we go to the park or the beach? When can we go to the movie theaters or the concerts? Now it was interesting because this survey was not meant to serve as public guidelines on when Americans can resume certain activities, but they reflect the epidemiologist's individual life circumstances and risk tolerance. So the answer should be viewed as a reflection of their personal expectations when talking about these things. Anali Gosai is a scientist at Flatiron Health. And she says that she's planning on spending time outdoors this summer. She continued to say that fresh air, sunshine, socialization, and healthy activity will be just as important for mental health as it is for physical well-being. So you see, the respondents disagreed significantly when it comes to the question of when will it be safe to resume some activities. For example, 41% of the respondents said that they'd get a haircut now or this summer, while only 19% said that they'll wait a year. A group of the respondents said that they wouldn't do nearly any of those types of activities until the new coronavirus vaccine has been developed and widely distributed. But it's important to note that social distancing, maintaining six feet of distance away from each other, and facial coverings is the most important and key things to protect ourselves. In particular, about handshakes, 6% of the respondents said that they'll never again greet a person with a handshake or a hug. And about 42% said, yeah, they will, but they probably won't do so for at least a year. So the worst part of this epidemic is the loss of human contact, said one of the specialists from McGill University. And it's kind of important to note that, that we've lost human contact, but we are trying to stay safe. Go outdoors, spend time in the park, spend time with your loved ones in the fresh air, in the sunshine. Go out for a round of golf, go play sporting activities, go to church. But remember, 
Hand washing frequently and often. Using hand sanitizers with a minimum of 70% alcohol. Avoiding large gatherings and maintaining social distancing of six feet is what we can do right now to help protect ourselves as best we can. Until a novel coronavirus vaccine has been created and distributed, we really have to think about our own safety and the safety of our families as we continue social distancing. But what we do know is that this is a new way of life for us. The novel coronavirus, COVID-19, is not going to go away, but we can protect ourselves. Social distancing, masks and face covers, avoiding large crowds and gatherings, hand washing frequently and thoroughly, and the use of 70% alcohol-based hand sanitizer. That's the best we can do for now until we can come up with a vaccine that's widely spread, widely distributed. And for now, that's the best thing we can do to keep ourselves and our families safe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you'll be alerted on future videos. I look forward to creating more videos for you. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe and be well. God bless.